Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 16 in chapter 17. Chapter 17 is about the temperature, the thermal expansion, ideal gas law. We can see this. There, we talk about the engine's cooling system. And for engine's cooling system, it's just imbued, includes three parts, right? Coolant, alumina, and steel. And for each one, we can get the coefficient for volumes of expansion. It's a beta coolant, beta alumina, alumina, and beta steel. You can check these numbers in your test book. This one is given. And also, we know the volumes for the coolant, alumina, and steel at the initial temperature. This initial temperature is 93 degree and it will increase to 105 degree. So we can see the change of the temperature is 12 degree. So this is all the given quantities. Now we can see this car's engine cooling system works. How it works? We can see when the temperature increase, the coolant will do the thermal expansion, right? Agree? And the alumina will do the thermal expansion. And steel will also do thermal expansion. But this coolant expands more than alumina and steel and makes this coolant leak flows out. And when it flows out, it can cool down and come back. This is how it works. Now, the question, we need to find how much the coolant leaks or how much they just move out. So this, this must be the volume change for coolant minus the volume, volume change for alumina and minus the volume change for steel because when the temperature increases, alumina, this alumina, this part increase, steel increase, but, but the coolant increased much more in volumes. So this is our strategy to find delta V coolant minus delta V alumina and minus delta V steel, right? For each one, we have the function to describe the delta V with the delta T. So we just input delta V coolant as beta coolant V coolant delta T. Similarly for the this one and this one. And see, you can see in these functions, all the quantity are given. You input these numbers inside, get answer there. Thank you.